Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel on engineering mathematics. In this video, I am going to discuss the concept of Kendall's rank correlation coefficient. Let us see what you will learn from this video. First, I will discuss the introduction to Kendall's rank correlation. Then, I will discuss the formula of Kendall's rank correlation. Next, we will see introduction to the concepts called as concordant and discordant. And finally, we will see some examples based on this. Now, let us proceed for the introduction of Kendall's rank correlation coefficient. The Kendall rank correlation coefficient is usually denoted by tau is a non-parametric statistics used to measure the strength and direction of association between two ranked variables. It is an alternative to Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. This coefficient assesses the degree of similarity between two sets of rankings by examining the relative order of observations. Instead of relying on the actual numerical values, it focuses on pairwise comparisons of the data points. Generally, tau ranges from minus 1 to 1. Next, we will see formula to Kendall's rank correlation coefficient. It is given by c minus d upon n into n minus 1 by 2 or c minus d upon c plus d, where c stands for number of concordant pairs, d stands for number of discordant pairs, and n is total number of observations. Now let us understand what are concordant or discordant pairs. In Kendall's rank correlation coefficient, pair of observations are analyzed to determine their agreement or disagreement in relative ranks. These pairs are classified as concordant or discordant based on whether their rankings follow the same trend or opposite trend. Let us understand them one by one. First concordant, a pair of observations say xi, yi and xj, yj we say are concordant if the ranks of the both the variables move in the same direction. I mean if xi is less than xj then yi is also less than yj or if xi is greater than xj and yi is also greater than yj then the pairs xi yi and xj yj are concordants otherwise they are called as discordant i mean if the pair of observations xi comma yi and xj comma yj are discordant if both the variables move in opposite direction that is if xi is less than xj then yi is greater than yj or if xi is greater than xj and yi is less than yj then these two pairs are discordants now let us understand this concept with the help of an example in this example we are asked to find kendall's rank correlation coefficient for the given data this is the given data table here there are five observations this second column denotes the ranks of x variable they are arranged in ascending order third column denotes ranks of y variable these ranks are arranged in correspondence with the ranks of x variable now let us see how to find out kendall's rank correlation coefficient first we find the concordant and discordant from the given data for that we will prepare such kind of table in this first column i am going to write the pairs pairs of observations 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, similarly 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, then 3, 4, 3, 5, and then 4, 5. In all, there will be n into n minus 1 upon 2 number of pairs. Now, let us see the first observation for pair 1, 2. When we choose pair 1, 2, x has ranks 1 and 2. Similarly, y has ranks 3 and 1. Let us make a note of it over here x has ranks 1 and 2, y has ranks 3 and 2 at the positions 1 and 2. Let us check the relation of ranks between xi and xj and then yi and yj. We see x1 is less than x2 but y1 is greater than y2. So they are opposite in sign therefore this pair of ranks is discordant. Now let us proceed for next pair 1 comma 3. For observations 1 comma 3 ranks of x are 1 and 3 and corresponding ranks of y are 3 and 4. Let us check the relation between the ranks of xi and xj and then yi and yj. I see x1 is less than x3. Similarly, y1 is less than y3. Since both of these inequalities are in the same direction, we say that these pairs are concordant. 
Similarly, we will find the status of concordant and discordant of the pairs. Similarly, we will find the concordant and discordant status of the remaining pairs in this way. Now, finally, we will count the number of concordants and discordant from this table. Here I see the number of concordant pairs are 7 and the number of discordant pairs are 3. Now, using these values of C and D, we will calculate tau. We know formula for tau is C minus D upon N into N minus 1 by 2. Substituting values for C, D and N here, I see value of tau is 4 upon 10 that is 0 0.4. So corresponding Kendall's rank correlation coefficient is 0 0.4. I hope guys you understood this method. Now I have another alternative method to solve the same example. This time instead of the previous table, we are going to use some new notations and table. First, we find the number of concordants and discordant of the given data in this way. We will carry forward this table as it is and we will make some columns on the right side of this. This time, we will focus on only ranks of y variable, fix first element, say 3 here and compare other elements with this 3. If the other elements are less than this number, then we put minus sign here. And if they are greater than this number, then we'll put plus here. So fixing 3 here, comparing other numbers, we see 1 is less than 3, so I'm putting minus. 4 is greater than 3, so we'll put plus. 2 is less than 3, we put minus. 5 is greater than 3, we put plus. Next, we keep 1 fix and we will compare remaining numbers with 1. Since all the other numbers are greater than 1, we will put plus, plus, plus here. Next, we will fix number 4 and we will compare the other ranks with 4. Since 2 is less than 4, we will put minus sign here and 5 is greater than 4, we will pl put plus sign here. Next, we will keep 2 fix and we will compare rank 5 with it. Since rank 5 is greater than 2, we will put plus sign here. Now you count the number of concordant pairs and number of discordant pairs. Here, number of concordant pairs is same as the number of plus signs. Since there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 plus signs, number of concordant pairs are 7. And there are 3 minus signs, so number of discordant pairs is 3. Let us make a note of it. And now finally, we will calculate tau using the formula C minus D upon C plus D. Substituting values of C and D, we get tau value is 4 upon 10, that is 0 0.4, which is exactly same as the previous answer. I hope guys you understood this method as well. Now let us go for next example. Once again, we are asked to find Kendall's rank correlation coefficient for the given data. Here is the X variable ranks and here are the corresponding Y variable ranks. I'm going to use the second alternative method to calculate Kendall's rank correlation coefficient. For that, I will prepare table like this. Now I fix rank 3 and I will compare the remaining ranks with this 3. Since 1 is less than 3, I'll put minus sign. 4 is greater than 3, I'll put plus sign. Then since 2 is less than 3, I'll put minus sign. 6 and 5 are greater than 3, so I'll put plus sign here and here. Next, we will keep 1 fix. Since all the other ranks are greater than 1, we will put all plus signs over here. Next, keep 4 fix and compare other ranks with 4. 2 is less than 4, so we will put minus sign here. 6 and 5 are greater than 4, so we will put plus sign here and here. Next, fix number 2 and compare the other ranks with 2. Since 6 and 5 are greater than 2, we will put plus sign here and here. Finally, we fix number 6 and compare rank 5 with it. Since 5 is less than 6, we will keep minus sign here. Now count the number of plus signs. They are 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There are 11 plus signs. Therefore, number of concordants are 11. And there are 4 minus signs. Therefore, number of discordant pairs are 4. Therefore, corresponding Kendall rank correlation coefficient tau given by C minus D upon C plus D is equal to 7 upon 15, which is 0 0.47. I hope guys you understood this example too. Now it is your turn to solve some examples. These are couple of practice examples. Their final solutions are also written over here.
Guys, please write me in comment box whether you got these solutions or not. Please also write me whether you found this video useful or not. Till I publish my next video, keep watching my videos, keep practicing maths. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.